more stuff. Right, page three. The new formula. Okay, let's go to page four because there are questions there. Okay. 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 Good. So um, for page four, okay, let me just get the page out so we can we can be looking at the same page. <coughs> Okay, I have extracted page 4 out already. Let me just put it to the side. Okay, over here, yes. I think the first question you see should be sine 135, right? Yeah. And then you see cosecant 240. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So let's... Um, okay, so... Um, okay, before we talk about um, how to solve this, sine, cosine... Tangent. Do you know tangent is equal to sine over cosine? Okay, if you don't know, then you have to know. Okay. And then you have okay. the secant. You know what secant equal to? Secant equal to... 1 over cosine. 1... Yeah, yeah. Okay, then yeah. cosecant. 1 over cosine. Cosecant equals to 1 over sine. Correct. So in a way, right, tangent, secant, composite... I mean... Cosecant, right? I call them a uh, secondary color. You know a secondary color and primary color? Yeah. Ah, so uh, primary color, if you mix them up, then you will get the secondary color, right? Yeah. Ah, so it's kind of like... Then, like the basis. Yeah, kind of like that. So uh, sine and cosine, they are the basic blocks. Okay? Mm. You can't simplify the sine further, can't. Right? You cannot. Okay. But for tangent and secant and cosecant, you can simplify them into, uh, I mean, in terms of sine and cosine. Alright? Alright. Okay, good. So now let's talk about how to um, solve, or how to deal with the special angle. Okay, so I think they have a table for you to memorize the special values, right? Or, sp or special angles. Table. Oh, yeah, 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 it's right here. Okay, yeah, no problem, but uh, do you, uh, are you asked to memorize? Memorize the cosecant and everything. No, are you, oh, no, no, this one, this one is must. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. The, 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 the table of uh, value, like square root over 2, that kind of thing. Oh, wait, oh, you mean that, uh, let me check, not like that. Oh, no. Then? Not really. Then if the you don't memorize, thing, then how? Uh, she taught us, like, a way to do it without memorizing. How? Uh, if you, like, sign, like, using certs. Okay, let me just use sign. Okay, I, let me test you. Sign 45. What's the value? Sign 45? Mm. Um, okay. Sine forty five is uh, square root, square root half. Square root two. Uh yeah. That's, how 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 you get this? I want to ask how you get this. Hi. So basically, when you do sine, uh, sine forty five, you get like some decimal number. Yeah. And then you have to square root it. Using calculator half, is it? Right. Using calculator huh? is it? Yeah yeah. Okay good. Okay, never mind. So that's one way. So in fact, I want to teach you how you um, get it on the spot without using the calculator. Okay. So let me just use uh, this over here. Okay. So there are two triangles you need to remember. Okay. Isos and and another right one angle. right angle triangle. So this is the isos, this is 90, mm. and this is mm. 45, this is 45, 45, and this is 30, this is 60. And actually these two triangles, right, they include all special angles already. Okay, so let's start okay. off with this isos triangle first. 45, 45, four, so if this is 1, if this is 1, then this is what? Square root 2. Pythagoras theorem. Mm -hmm. One square plus one square equals two. Two square. Oh yeah. Oh, equals to two. This sorry, is, equals to two. It's a ninety degree. Yep. So this is c equal. So there's c c c is equal to what square root two. Yep. 
right so actually it's equal to 